Okay. <laughs> Yay. Why is Meredith dancing? Because it's conference season. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Right, because it's conference season and because we're in Atlanta. I gotta Terrific. sing some Atlanta music. Right. I feel okay. like getting to sculpt in Atlanta probably is just as long of a drive as getting to sculpt anywhere else because no, yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. again, terrible. 16 lanes, welcome. You're in the right place. <laughs> yeah. Are you confused and on the side of the road? Welcome, friends. It's fine. You probably get company. <laughs> right. Say hello to your, You're not to your Uber driver. That's right. Um, but it's actually great timing because what are we talking about today? Building your professional networking. network. Yes. yes. And Meredith, are you good at networking or are you like me and the shyest person in the room who will not talk mm. to people? You know what? That's so funny. I don't see you like that, but I think because we're used to like talking, you know what I mean? Right. Um, if for me, it depends. I'm going to be super honest. Like, it depends kind of on the room. I don't mean that in mm -hmm. like an exclusive way. I just mean I also will suddenly feel super shy and like super impostery. And I'm like, why are you just talking to people? Shut up. Nobody wants to talk to you. You know what I mean? I can remember right. like at um, my first, actually, my first skull, it was at this hotel um, that I can remember seeing hugging people, like all the smiling, hugging people. And I was really lonely at that conference because I didn't know anybody there. And his student taught in Georgia and then he moved and it came back and I was really excited to see like all my friends if they were busy because like people get busy. So totally normal. Um, but I just was really lonely and I feel like teaching can be lonely. Professional development can be lonely even though we're surrounded by people. So it's so weird and so paradoxical. And I remember being like, I want to be part of the hugging, the hugging, smiling people, you know, because I didn't know anybody. So for me, that's been, yeah, like sometimes I'm good at it and sometimes I like it and other times I'm like, uh-oh like and then I make it weird <laughs> it's listen weird is not only my middle name but my first name and also comma <laughs> weird dot the third you know um but it's funny esquire. that you mentioned that <laughs> yes yes esquire esquired um <laughs> I'm gonna be esquired I'm gonna put that on my signature now um uh, ba -dum -bum. But I had a similar experience when I started coming. Like I went to like college in Georgia. I went to Actville when I was in college as like the student rate, which by the way, can I still get that please? Um, but then when I started, Amen. right? Can I still, can I get a dorm room for the cheap too? Cause who yes. all the actual Literally, prices. I beg anything. Um, no, I know. I know. I'll yeah. bring a tent. Um, That's right. I'll do whatever I gotta do. I'm here for the learning. <laughs> <laughs> but like the first, like you, like the first couple of flags, first of all, I didn't even know flag was really a thing. And, but I had an amazing coordinator when I started teaching and she was like, here's your paperwork for a flag. And I was like, Whoa. but the first couple of ones, it was like, okay, well, I don't know anybody here except for that one. And I was the French teacher in a middle school. I was the only one and the Spanish teacher didn't come. So it was like, I don't know anybody and I don't feel like I belong here. Um, yeah, same, same. But I think since you and I caught, I don't know if it happened and we just didn't know about it back then, but I think conferences, conferences especially, because that's sort of the season that we're in, it's gotten really good at like that, welcome to your conference. Let me explain how things will operate. Yeah. That is an amazing thing, I think, in our, our professional community that is taking place. So if yeah. you are going to a conference and it's your first one, or you have no idea what's going on, if they have a first timers, it's definitely worth it to go to that. Because everyone in there 100%. is just as clueless. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, I went to the new one and the new, whatever, the first timers at Actful last fall. I had been to mm -hmm. Actful before, but it had been so long. I was like, ooh, I'm just going to go. And it was so mm -hmm. helpful to, like, know things. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's super true. And usually yeah. the people, not usually, always the people that they pick to do those are not only, like, veteran presenters, veteran they're like former board members. They're really mm -hmm. outgoing. They're warm. Like they're really, I think conferences, I think are five regionals and actual and the other nationals, AADFP, mm -hmm. AADF, AADG. Mm -hmm. I think everybody's really skilled at this point at picking people who have like a good, this sounds whatever, but like a nice bedside manner. You know what yeah. I mean? Like they're pleasant and they're not like with that experience and with that expertise, they're not like body about it or there's not like yeah. ego in the equation they're just like they're genuinely excited that people are there of exactly. any age any experience level like mm -hmm. oh my god shut up it's your first time this is so exciting mm -hmm. um and that's really exciting i just ran into a gal that i've worked with a bunch of times that it's her first time presenting 
And I was checking into the hotel and I was like, Nancy, is that you? Like, what's up? And she was like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. Like I present on Friday at three and like, da, da, da. I was like, girl, I will be there. Like, because Dang. it's so exciting. I'm so glad she's presenting. And she's like, I'm super nervous. I'm like, don't be nervous. Like it's everybody's, everybody's had a first time either attending or presenting or both mm-hmm. and whatever. So like it's people, I feel like when I was feeling lonely and I was feeling like it did like that, like you said, that lack of belonging. Um, I was doing that to myself. No one looked at me and pointed at me and said, you don't belong, but I was hurting my own feelings. Like I was hundred percent ascribing all of this, like whatever on other people, which was super unfair. Cause like, then I would go home and like be sad. I'd be like sad the whole drive home or whatever. And I was like, I mean, I learned a lot, but like, I didn't really enough, enough. You did that to yourself. That was my, my experience. At least I realized there were first timer sessions. There were super welcoming people. There weren't as many, like, I wasn't as out of the, like, smiling, hugging people as I thought. People were super welcoming. I mean, they'd be like, come on in, eat lunch with us. Come on over. I just had to be, I just had to pay attention to that too. I think that's one of the things that I like. And I think the worst part about a conference as a first timer is the lunch. You know, when it's like, let yes. everybody come what in. Do I like, with? The cafeteria is middle school again. It is. It really is. It really is. And one of the things that, like, because I obviously am in a rural district and you're the actual opposite yeah like my yeah. network when I go into those things is like random people mm-hmm. from all over so it's always like hey come over here I'm waving a red flag or whatever come over here right. and sit with me it's like this amalgamation of people that I know from all these other places whereas like yeah. your school might have a table um right. but one of the things that I have sort of been diligent about in the past few years like I always sit in sort of the back sort of towards the door mm-hmm. I don't know probably because yeah. I have to go to the bathroom because I'm a teacher um like when you don't have the bells to regulate when you have to go that's back right you're like I can do what I want I, I do know. What I, I know exactly <laughs> like I try to look for the people who you can who look like they don't have anywhere to go and just like come on yes, and you can just them over yes and I think as because you and I are oh, roughly in the same period of our career yeah. time yeah. time wise not you know yeah. whatever um no absolutely the more that we're there, I think we have to start taking on that mantle and being like, hey, you are yes. either new or you are clearly overwhelmed by all this. Like, come in and let's be a friendly face. Right. And so I think anyone who's in that first timer situation or just new, you know, you can go to a conference and be like, right. whatever. Um, yeah. And basketball. Well, and maybe some people are just like more confident than I am. I don't know. I don't know if it's like confidence. I don't know if it's whatever, but I feel like, yeah, they're at, like having worked the registration table. They're totally, sorry, my ring keeps on my pocket. Um, I feel like there are people who just are like, hi, good morning. And they just be bop around. And I'm like, oh, should I be more like that? So that's also a thing is like some people that just really is their natural personality. So it might look like they're not, you know, lonely, but yeah, then you get to lunch and you're like, oh crap, where do I sit? Like mm-hmm. sometimes you fake it too. Like mind if I sit with you, is that okay? Sure. And you just, they don't know that you're feeling weird. They don't know that that's like not your personality. You know, if you're just like, oh, I'm branching out and I'm trying to do better, you know, whatever, because that can also be kind of like paralyzing of like, literally you're sitting there like, yeah, you're like back in sixth grade. Um, I totally agree that I think that's also part of, um, I think exactly what you're saying of intentionally, thoughtfully placing yourself someplace that's easy to get to that you can be like, Hey, come here. Cause like you said, you lock eyes with somebody and they're kind of looking around. You're like, you need to sit down, come here. Like come eat with us can be such a leadership piece. I think it's a, well, and we, we both know you and leadership and what's happening on, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know if we can say it. How much I am. Um, uh, uh. So like, we clearly know you're good at that. Um, but <laughs> Also, it's in the program, right? Wait, can we say it publicly? I don't know. Anyway, I don't ask questions. I, I just work here. Just no. I'm like, where's the program? Is it online? Yeah. <laughs> it is. And I remember you're totally in it. So, yeah. Um, My mom is literally like, can you send me some pictures? Oh, uh, 40 years <laughs> old, yes. <laughs> That's what I'm doing, mom. But yes, I can. Right. Um, same. I Anyway, well, we'll, ch- we'll chat offline. But because um, I had the same thing. I was like, it's fine. Nobody's coming to lunch. And um, my mom was like, what? Like, why did you? I was like, yeah. Um, yeah, no. So I think that's, I think that's an advocacy piece. I think that's a leadership piece. I just think it's friendly as we should be and not being like newbies to conferences. Yeah. Step up, you know, by gosh, mm-hmm. like invite some, like walk to walk, talk to talk. He and I, London and I talk about that a lot. Um, and Alicia Quintero too, of just like, you said you were going to do X, do X. 
Like you said, you're going to do why, do why. So if you say like, we're really going to value our first time people, we really want people to feel welcomed and, right. um, you know, like they belong and that we're looking forward to seeing them again next year because mm-hmm. we are all of those things. Then that's what you do. You, you know, you, you, oh, sure. you welcome them. And I think that's a really great way of doing that, that I think a lot of conferences don't think about, but we're actually one of the only, we're the only regional I know of that has like a hot, like a plated, um, well, actually, no, it's like, it's like grab and go this year, but flag is one of the few that I've been to state conference wise that has like a hot plated lunch. Yeah. I love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I do too, because it's nice. And you can just have like, actually like a nice meal, sit and mm-hmm. chat with people, take your time. You have dessert, you have a cup of coffee. Like it's like, you got, it's rushing. like the most convenient yeah. restaurant. Right. And you exactly. have an hour and a half or whatever. It's funny you mentioned lunch and also the registration table, because one of the deers who does so much for flag, Mary Ellen, um, yeah. If you don't know Mary yeah. Ellen, she is the woman who's going to look like she's frazzled, but is the nicest lady ever when you're checking in. Ever. Um, literally, like talking about expanding professional network. I have gone to Flag and Skull and all these things. And one year I was just like, I was checking in and I said, is there anything that I can do to help? And she was like, oh, yes, come on. And so I just... Yeah. I wanted to step in and do something different than just being a participant, right? Like, how can I help make things yeah. roll? And literally, yeah, do you need that, like extra carry hands? Exactly. Yeah, like literally can, to carry something. What can you go hand this to the presenter in the in that room? Just sit in that room all day, right? Sure, fine. But because I said, hey, what can I do to help? I've got an amazing connection now to somebody. Like I can literally text Mary Ellen at any part of the day and be like, "Have I paid my dues?" or some. Yeah other crazy thing or hey I have this idea and you know she's there like it's a, something as simple as just having a yeah. connection with somebody like I have sat in those um sessions before where I'm like I sit by myself and when they're like turn and talk to a partner I'm like no I don't want to turn and talk to a partner but you sort of have yes. to break out of that right like I yeah. think these sessions where you can sit and talk to people and find shared Shared and also yeah. not shared experiences. I think that's also yeah. hugely valuable. Find people that don't have your same situation and like expand Correct. your thinking and yeah. talking about. And don't about teach your language and, and don't teach your level and don't teach. Yeah, you can find yeah. something that you have and sure. learn. Yeah. Um, so Absolutely. obviously we're all in conference mode right now, but I think you mentioned it earlier when we were talking before this about the role of social media and I'm a little bit stalkery on there. Like I know all, I know I all the all people. Are. Yeah, I think yeah. it's good. Yeah. Lurk, lurk um, and learn, as I say. Oh, lurk and learn for sure. And then go to Axel and see Ben Tinsley and be too afraid to like go up and say, hey, <laughs> and then tweet from like behind him and then run away. Cause that's exactly what I did. I was like, oh, oh that's that's amazing. Go, go. you're like, I have to go, right? That's incredible. I, um, yes. I would love to say I haven't done that. I absolutely have done that. Totally. Yeah. I've um, so been there where you're just like, oh, it's so and so, which is so mm-hmm. funny because, yeah, like because we have so many opportunities to, learn and do all that and network together that yeah it does feel people feel close and Mm -hmm. far away at the same time right like I think it's so magical that blend of the social media like you can follow people like example Leslie Gron whoever doesn't follow her needs to like right so like oh good stepping out of my shell at Actville I saw her preparing for her little session I was like I'm gonna go be weird so like I walked in and I was like, I just am one of the bazillions of people who really appreciate what you do. Thank you. And she was like, oh my gosh. And like you give yourself a little bit of room to be weird and like you're going to yeah. expand your network, you know? So like yeah. literally she was like, hey, if you want to be a thought partner, give me a call. Hey, if you need some yeah. help with Starlight, you know, it's like, I don't think, I think we have a thing in teaching where we assume that nobody wants to share, which is the thing, right? Nobody wants to share. Absolutely. Nobody wants to help. And but then I anybody think, not doing exactly what we're doing, like must not have time, right. must be too busy, must not want to. And you're like, I know you don't want to, you know, spend your time with me. And mm-hmm. they're like, what are you talking about? Don't be weird. Like, yeah, sure. Call yeah. me. Exactly. So I think we've got to sort of, we have to get over that as ourselves, but also I think we have to like shift the image of what it means to be an established teacher and to be a leader in the whatever. Yeah. Like we have to be more welcoming because when we, uh, you know, I'm a dork and I look at, at statistics and numbers, world language teachers in Georgia are the smallest segment. There's only like 3,600 mm-hmm. of us, but yeah. we have the lowest retention rate of any content area. So yeah. like we're already hard to find. We're hard to replace. We're hard to keep. Like, yeah, it's professional. We're hard to understand if people haven't had a great experience, like they, oh don't know how, they don't know how to support us, and we're exactly. like, uh, you know, exactly. So I mean, yeah, building those connections because, like, if I'm having a bad day, I can connect to somebody that I worked with five years ago and be like, hey, how are you? 
yeah. just finding those connections and, and yeah. I'll, I'll I'll be really honest here too. I don't know about you, but I have worked in places where I didn't get along with a colleague and I burned that yes. bridge, burned yeah. it hard. Um, and I think as I've gotten older and hopefully more mature, hopefully, mm-hmm. you know, that becomes a lesson, like find the value where you can, like you may yeah. not exactly like that person or what they bring to the table, but if there's something good that yeah. you can tap into there, you never know when you're going to need that down the line. Super um, true. Huge Especially when you're in a place, like you said, like both rural, suburban, urban, like yeah. whatever the thing is, because that can, that could work to, you know, you might be like, never see you again. Bye. And you might never, but you don't know that they didn't see you somewhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they're right. like, Oh, I worked with her. Mm-hmm. We were at blah, blah, blah. And mm-hmm. just because you didn't know what happened. Like, I think, I think we'd love to, I mean, it's like traffic, you know, you'd love to think you're more anonymous than you are, but you cut somebody off and you're like, honk, honk, honk or whatever. And they're like, all right, now I follow you. Like it could get, it could get crazy quick. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing where it's like, you know what? You could, something could happen right now. You have to leave your job. You have to come, you have to go back to such and such, or I have to go back to such and such. And if we, you know, all of a sudden that person's department chair, that person's AP and they're like, oh, what was the name? And you're Mm -hmm. like, Sorry, I was young. Like I didn't know, and it's like ah, it doesn't matter. Don't care, you know. Yeah, so it's hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it that is. networking is also like realizing everyone brings, everyone's working as hard as they can, probably, um, and recognizing that everyone brings something sure. to the table, and not and keeping those connections at least as possible as possible. It's hard though. Right. I also think there's. I think. This is a lesson I learned from COVID when we're talking about building professional networks and social media and all of these things. You probably didn't, I don't know if you did or not, but because everyone was sharing so much online, it sort of shut me off because I was like, look how great everybody else is. Like, I'm terrible Mm. with this, right? So, like, I want to be like you, your network has taken you years to build. You know, like, I don't want anyone to be like, oh, my gosh, I have to leave Skult with 1,800 new contacts in my phone. Like, there's, like, (laughs) an organic way. That's a a goal, and I'm here for it, and we can make it happen. (laughs) No, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like with anything, like, have patience with the process. Mm -hmm. And, like, do what what feels comfortable, because I'm telling you, I limit my Twitter time. Like, I only tweet when it's one of the two PLCs or if I'm in the right frame of mind, because there's so much out there, again, feeling like an imposter or not like you, like, you don't fit in here. Like, there's some amazing stuff going on online, and I don't do it, and I don't want to feel bad about what I'm doing because I'm doing the best that I can. Period. (laughs) And also, yeah, like, I don't want to have FOMO about stuff I just learned existed. No, it's like shopping, right. like all of the ads I've gotten to where I don't shop online anymore because, um, <laughs> listen, this COVID weight's not going to keep itself on. So I'm Same. doing my best to do that. And therefore, if I buy something online, then when it gets here and it doesn't fit because it's too small, um, then I feel bad about myself and then I have to return it and then I have to. So it's all these things. So I'm like, why did I even start? Like the convenience is like pretend convenience because all of that's super inconvenient mm-hmm. whereas i could have just gone to banana republic tried it on and been like uh, a size up tried that on realized that's what actually fit and mm-hmm. then walked out of the store without those like three subsequent steps so i right. think of that same thing of just like so i stopped looking at like as i've unfollowed vendors and stuff on instagram because i'm like you know when i peek in there and just want to see pictures or post something whatever I don't want to see a bunch of clothes that I don't need to spend money on that I don't need that don't fit. And then I'm tempted to No, Like, I think it's absolutely realizing like that temptation. Same. I'll see some webinars or I'm like, Oh, that looks really cool. But I have something on my calendar or there's something on my calendar is just free time. And I'm like, Mm -hmm. Nope, sorry. Wednesday night I've got wide open because I want to do absolutely nothing. Or if my husband's like, Hey, it's, I mean, what it's not now, which is 60 and raining and flash flooding. But if it were like, thick and really pretty out and he's like hey do you want like let's, let's take the dogs and go get some dinner at such and such and we sit on right. a patio I want to be able to do that and not be like oh well there's this thing I was thinking about going to or I already paid no like to don't list it's on my to don't list sorry oh yes I forgot about the to don't list and but, int- intentionally doing it because I think you're right yeah. it's not like it just like you just like don't know about it you're like no I'm avoiding mm-hmm. blah 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 because it could be information mm-hmm. overload yeah I mean 
and I think, again, one of the things from COVID and all the social media was you saw all these things that people were doing. And if it doesn't fit your context, mm -hmm. it makes you feel like you're not doing it right. So That's as right. you're looking at those webinars, yeah. or if you're looking for people to follow, like develop that sense of this is really cool. And I'm glad I know about it, but it's not right for yeah. me. Yeah. You know? My favorite is Amy Amy Poehler's line from her book. Um, good for her, not for me. Ah, oh, and that's, that's it. Great. Yeah, good for her. She'll like she'll yes. look at stuff and go. And she talked about maturing kind of into adulthood and just yeah, like stopping the like goal shaped comparison. Like, good for her, not for me. Amy, and that's Poehler's it. Mature. And that's been so. Oh, her book is so good. So good. And I want to okay. say I listened to the audio. I think she's got a couple. So let me okay. maybe be more specific. It's got. I'll find the title and, and let you know because mm -hmm. it's it's really really good. And I think I did the audio book, and she reads it super super good. Oh good, yeah. Okay, I'll look yeah. That. I did on a road trip. It's the one I can picture the road trip where I was driving like up the East Coast. So I want to say like 2018 because it took me like almost the whole way. I listened to it like the whole way. It was really really good. Hmm, Highly recommend. Is it yes please? Yes, it's yes please. Yes please. Okay. Yep. I will look that one up. Really Here's really a good. Random bonus for all kind of like. <laughs> That's right. Random book wreck because yeah, she talks about like just like growing and like maturing and, and just that, yeah, like that constant that we do as, you know, like we're trying to like get better and do more and it's always more, but that's also like very American. Mm -hmm. I think culturally it's like more, mm -hmm. more, more, bigger, 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 you know, faster, smarter. And it's like, you know, other people are just like, good, you know, like they're like, okay, like whatever I'll just do. I know we teach different languages, but like, I feel like it's also like very French, you know, just to be like, nah. like you do you and just, you know, like being kind of calm and secure in that thing. For me, that doesn't come naturally. I'm naturally a competitive person. I'm naturally also like competitive with myself, not really with Same. other people. Same. Um, super competitive with myself and also just like a, like a darer of myself, like what bet you can't blah, 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 blah. And it's, it's not me against anyone else. It's just like me against me, like previous me or tomorrow me or whatever. But what that means too is, yeah, then I'm like, oh, I'm missing out. I'm missing out. It's a chance to do something which is super not fair and also exhausting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Even just meeting, it's like, to me, connections are made one conversation at a time, you know, at a conference where you're like, I met a new person. I met a new friend for lunch. I follow her now. Right. Um, I met a new, um, you know, I met a person like in a session and blah, blah, blah. Like, it's just if you leave a, a conference or a workshop or whatever, two people, great. And do that twice right. a year. I mean, after five years, you're like, now I know. And they know people. So inevitably you're like, hey, Shan, I want to get some lunch. And then I meet four people, you know, and I'm like, right. oh, you know what? There's a teacher. And now, because I can go, you know, I know somebody in South Carolina. I'm just thinking of Regent, region, South Carolina that does X, Y, and Z. They're in Lexington. Well, that's like, they've got a killer world language program. So now I'm able to speak to, or Ben, you know, is coming down mm -hmm. from, like and you guys met in Lil. So now you've got all yes. these network connections that are like bing bang boom. And now I can speak to what other states are doing. Now I don't have to have had the experience to be able for it to be in my repertoire, if that makes right. sense. I can go, right. well, I know my friends gotta do it. I talk about Kia's um not to bring up Kia London again, but I talk about her like report card comments all the time where they do have like a whole day at their school just to leave report card comments. I'm like, oh, like that's a very involved. So when she has that, she's like, oh, yeah, today's comment day. <laughs> I'm like, oh, cool. Wow. So that's something really interesting to know where I'm like, should I be leaving more comments? You know, and then I'm like, what kind of feedback is it? Well, what are the things you say in your comments? Mm -hmm. Now she can teach me so much about feedback and comments and like, what? that's a great wow. session. Oh, so being sure. able just to learn from each other just by like literally like shooting the breeze about your day is so cool. Mm -hmm. And just not even making fr like making friends, of course, but like also making you know, there's like friendships and then there's like professional shifts that like to me are friendships and professional mm -hmm. relationships right. together where I'm like, yeah, you know, we're profession friends, like we're friends, like we're PFS, like that's, you know, you can yeah. talk about the things, but I think it's important. But like you said, it's a few yes. at a time. Definitely. And I don't want anyone to feel like it's, oh my gosh, I have to have this huge network because I want to bump up yeah. to do X, Y, or Z in four years mm -hmm. or whatever. Like, Take right. what you can, when you can, yeah. and don't stress yourself, yeah. right? Like, there's yeah. a reason you can't run for president until you're, what, 35, you know? 35, yeah, yeah. So, well, so take and look at us, too. Like, look at, if we mention, we didn't clarify, too, what Lil is, because I think that's a great opportunity oh, yeah, yeah. to also mention for Brick. Mm -hmm. But, like, 
mentioning Lil, like even just me mentioning that and you and I being on here on a Wednesday at seven something, you know, like you also have to take your family and life circumstance into consideration. And I was told a couple of years ago by somebody I didn't know very well, they were just like, well, that shouldn't matter. And I was like, yeah, sure. But like, tell some, tell my friend with three kids under five, right? like that that shouldn't matter. Like it's so, I think also looking at what stage of life you're in, Mm -hmm. what your family situation looks like, you know, is it, are you, are there other people that you're into to and serving for? Is there like, do do you have roommates? Do you have, I I should call my husband, we should call our husbands like roommates, but like, oh, my roommate, Brad, that'd be really funny if you did that from time to time of him. (laughs) Sorry, my weird roommate. And he's like, can you stop calling me that? <laughs> That'd be really like, funny. You know the ring uh, back at this point. Come on, lady. <laughs> that's right. He's like, you know what? Another time. You get one more time. <laughs> um, but I think that's true. Like, do you have a roommate? Do you have a significant other? Do you have children? Do you have pets? Like, do you have do you have parents? Do you have in-laws? Do you have like what's your nuclear sort of family situation right. look like? Because that's also going to determine your time. And I'm sorry, I refuse to feel bad For about. Sense. Yeah, like not having time just because like yeah. life and hobbies and date night and whatever. I'm like, sorry, no. And, and I, mean, I think that's, have, I think we need to get better at that. We have two strike marks against us. We have this American workaholism and we're yeah. teachers, right? And yeah. so what are the two places, yeah. like obviously are Americans, you know, we eat lunch in four seconds and then we're back to the grindstone. Yeah. You know? Sometimes three. But as, but as teachers, there's never a point of being enough, I think. I no. think the perception not is... Ever it's just not there. And so we've got these, I think another good thing that has come about in recent years is paying attention to just like the mental well-being of ourselves and of students. Like I will be exhausted after Sculpt this weekend. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I had to literally, my brain turned to mush at Actful. I had to walk out like a zombie Mm -hmm. and be like, I got to go take a nap for 30 minutes. I'm real sorry. But like, I, I barely have electrical like current in my body at the moment. Yeah, you know, like, like I need a second. Yes. Yes. Like, give yourself the and grace. People think it's like just for like introverts or like people who like to be a little more socially isolated. I'm like, no, this is overwhelming for literally everyone. Yeah. Yes. So like do not yes. feel bad about it. Yeah. Amen. For sure. So like paying attention to what is good for you. Like I remember one of my early skull luncheons, I was at a table with these people that I didn't really know. I knew some of the people and now looking back, I'm like, they're really lovely people. Why was I so worried? I got so ridden with anxiety. I left. Like, right. I left the yeah. lunch and my friend was like, uh-huh. where did you go? And I was like, I couldn't, I just shut down mode. <laughs> like, yeah. Like I just couldn't. can't. And I don't want to. Yeah. I've talked myself yeah. out of going to stuff. I've like gone back to my room and just been like, oh my God, these people are going to think you're, you know, whatever. And then it's like, fuck it up. You know what I mean? Like, you're like, like you said, like you look back and you're like, everyone was really nice. What was my problem? But again, I, for me, not saying that's what you did. Like for me, I was ascribing all of these feelings onto them where I was like, they think you sound like a freaking idiot, you know, or whatever it is. Like, where I was just like, you do not, like these people don't want to talk to you. Like you, you're sitting at somebody else's department, like get out of here, you know, whatever. Yeah. And you're just like, this is a lot. So. I think that's, I think that's super normal and not that you don't know that. I'm just saying that for anybody listening, like, I think realizing that for me, like, oh wait, everyone, none, like, no wonder like the one o'clock session has fewer attending because everyone's like taking a nap and like taking a second and like taking a break or they went out for a long lunch and Mm -hmm. skipped the lunch session. Totally normal. Yeah. So I have like a, the last session time slot on Friday. I'm like, I didn't have anybody. Oh, love. No, yeah, you huh? totally. To me, that's my favorite because um, I know at least a lot of people I know they'll only take a half day on Friday. Oh, true. Um, especially at this location, like Metro Atlanta, they'll take a half day. They'll get a sub for like the like two or three periods at the end of the day. They'll leave at like one, leave that's school at one, get here at like two and check in. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm just gonna carry my little computer so, down to the bar. That's and be right. Like, Here's my <laughs> session. I I know I was gonna fill my right. audience. Most of those are on me and let's do it. Yeah, no, I love being, yeah, to me, Friday, like 3.15, sweet spot. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Or like Saturday morning, 9 a.m. I'm like, ting, yes. Yes, Saturday mornings, like everyone's refreshed and nobody's yeah. trying to get out yet. But yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. So I think we can, uh, call, I'm waiting, I, Ben is not here yet. I keep waiting for Ben to pull in, but I was going to say, I Yay, think it's time ben. for you to go get ready for flag and for me That's to get right. some tacos. Woo-hoo. Yay. And how do you, so, do you met Ben at Lil? So people need to, they need yes. to Google actful Lil, L-I-L-L 
does it have its own mm-hmm. site? I think it's like apple.org slash Lil, maybe not. Um, and that's another way. So also like, or just contact us, email yeah. us and ask us like ways to get involved with things and we'll shoot you in the right direction and well, copy on some the, people. And that's the but, thing, right? And, yes. And I think literally, I, I, truthfully, how many of our flag members are also members of Sculpt? Probably yeah, not that's right. How many okay. of our Sculpt and Flag members are actually members of Actful? Because you get to a point where it's like, all right, it's a little bit expensive, right? Yeah, to like yeah, remember yeah. all these things. So yeah. literally I reactivated my Actful account and I got the first TLE of the the Language Educator magazine. And okay. I, I was like, what is Lil? Literally texted Meredith. I was like, WTF, mate, what is Lil? And that That's sort of so like, amazing. I know. Yeah. it's the Language Inst- leadership Institute for Language yeah. Learning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's just a leadership program, but I think a lot of people may not know about it if you're not really deep into sort of the actful weeds, but each state, yeah. well, each or- each language organization. So flag, scold, it could be regional, it could be state, it could be, yep. um, like, what are the elementary, what is Glenda with? Glenda's with... Um, oh, no. <laughs> no, yeah. So and like everybody... Yeah, like any send, partner organization. Yeah, any of those organizations can send one person to this um, conference. Well, it's not a conference. It's a mm, leadership program. Like, it's a it's two-year a thing. Camp. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, like, it's also <laughs> like a retreat. You know, you're like... Yeah, and it's been super, for me personally, for a professional network, it's been amazing. Number one, you plugged me into it. So you're the first part of my professional network, but Woo-hoo. then... Oh, yay. And then like as part of it, like you're meeting 40 or 50 people from around the, no, literally. the country. Yes. Right. Yeah, and so, mm-hmm. Yes. You're you're seeing and like for me, I run the little starlight organization and like 80 percent of my sessions this year are my little people coming to share their information. Right. Yeah. You're you can learn what's happening in other states. You can just it's so powerful to join some sort of initiative like that if you have the time and if you have the bandwidth. Because right. it's. Yeah. Amen. It's not a lot, but everything you do, you need to contemplate how long it's going to take you to do it. Yeah. And if you really want to dedicate, right. I mean, do it worth doing all those things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if anyone's... people automatically, it's like joining a Greek organization. They're like, you're just paying for friends. And it's like, no, but also like you just got a group to like hang out. And this is your default group. So it's really nice yeah. to go. Honestly, I don't know anybody from Alaska, but actually my little group did have a rep from the Alaska. So let me email her. Done. Exactly. Like it's, it's built in. It's a built in exactly. network. So yeah, things like, like that are cool. Like I know a Filipino teacher from Honolulu. I never would have met yeah. her. Did I not join this? Yeah, right? that's right. You're like, we right. got to do the thing. Yeah. It's I love amazing. That. And like our mutual friend, Ben from Kentucky, he's coming down for Sculpt. And he was like, oh my gosh, oh. you know, I, you know, I used all of my funding for my housing last year. I was like, dude, I'm like 45 minutes south of it, the airport, just stay at my house. So yeah, at that's any right. point, you're like, dude, it's right here. He'll be staying and with you're us. you're going to come eat tacos. Yeah. And it's going to be cool. And then yes. I get to see Ben too. So. I know. And he is from Kentucky and my husband loves bourbon. So they're probably going to have that to chat about. Yes. Uh, Brett and Ben, yeah. the B names together, whatever. I'll come, I'll oh come over gosh. too. And then we'll just hang out. And... Just everybody. Yes. We'll have just to make. Come over to Shannon's house. <laughs> we'll just have to have Ben grow a beard to join our, our little crew. Right? Like. That's right. What's the problem? Like, <laughs> and did you have a, ben? have a beard? And st- as long stay as you have a beard, we hang out with you. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Cool. cool. We should. That's right. And French doors. <laughs> oh, you must stand sure. behind French doors with food or alcohol. Uh, yeah. With a beer. You bring the food and the wine. And you must have a gallery mm-hmm. wall behind you because I also have it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. So, hi. The requirements are very specific, but easy to meet. So, yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. All right. Well, I will see you. I will not see Yay. you tomorrow. So, have fun at your see you Friday. workshops. Yes. And I'm doing yeah. door duty Sweet. every session. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Way to do it. Same. I was like, sign me up. Oh, I know. And I'm like, that's another thing. If you want to go to conferences and you want to set your schedule, volunteer to be yeah. one of the door greeters. Volunteer, you get to baby. see. You see all the sessions ahead of time. You get placed there. Like it's great. I love it. Amazing. Favorite thing. There's also one opening now because I'm going to do another session. So if you want to like, the spreadsheet has one blank in it. If you're interested. <laughs> what day want, is it? If you want a 74th. Oh, that's a great question. Friday question mark. Okay. Yep. Check. I so. I'll check. Yep. I'm just leave myself out. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yay. I'll look at it. All right. Woohoo. Sweet. Yay. All right. Well, have fun. Friends. Happy uh hug session. That's right. And happy happy it's... happy all the things. Happy school. Conference. Happy conference season. Yes, yes, um and hug Ben for me, and then I get to hug him soon. I know he's gonna be there tomorrow. I will see there. Yay. He'll be, he's probably gonna be in your thing. So. All right. I can't wait. I'll all be right. so nervous. Okay. No, talk to you later. See you in 24 hours. (laughs) Bye.